Okay, welcome to Mr. Ridley's product design, and we're going to look at this question from Prod3. <clears throat> and this question shows is about packaging. So it says answer all parts of this question. For the two packages shown in figures three and four below, state the specific materials and the manufacturing methods used. Explain why these are suitable for each product. Use diagrams where appropriate. And as we've said before, if it says use diagrams, then a proportion of the marks are going to be allocated for diagrams. And the two packaging products we've got here are a cereal box and this um, clear biscuit box. So we're going to look at figure three and figure four. Now I'm going to start with figure four and we're going to answer this question now. So the first thing we're going to say with figure four is that it is a um, this is a food um, container um, made from um, it is probably P E T or HIP. You could put H D P E or L D P E. You you would get marks for those, but. I'm, I'm going to say PET or HIPS. Um, these material are safe for food. Uh, basically, they're, they're not reactive for food packaging. Uh, a safer food packaging and they are available in a transparent material or grade um, so they're available basically we're saying that these are food safe, they're available in a um, clear or transparent so that the consumer can, so that consumers know that consumers can see the food product so basically it's just if it's you know you've got nice biscuits in there you want to see what the biscuits look like so you can see it with the food packaging um, so I think that'll do for that we're looking at 8 to 10 in the 8 to 10 marks band again now obviously we've got to use some diagrams we've got to say about the process so um, the container is By that, I'm saying vac forming. I mean, maybe you should say vacuum forming, but you can say it's made by vac forming. Now, obviously, what we've got to do is just show a little diagram of vac forming. So, the first thing I think we'll draw our bed here and a mold, and we might add there. I'm just saying that there's a 10 degree release angle there. Um, so I said hips. I've just drawn a little um, the, sh the sheet of hips hips there I've indicated that that's heated um, so this is stage one stage two uh, stage three if we can fit it in here the 
um, bed is raised. So stage three, the bed is raised. Stage four, How can we, we can say that air pumped out and then air pressure here. We've got air pressure here, air pumped out and Okay, so we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five stages of vacuum forming. So there's an answer, and I think really this would be in an eight to ten band. I can't uh, see so you could you could write descriptions of here, but I think that's fairly clear. Um, we've talked about vacuum forming. We've talked about the materials. We've said why the material is good for that packaging. So I think there's no reason why this wouldn't be an eight to ten. Um, mark answer. So there we go.